Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for a bedtime story? Tonight's story is called Courtney by John Burningham. As you listen, I want you to think about where Courtney went. Once upon a time, we would really like to have a dog, the children said. Our house would be much better with a dog. The dog would guard the house and it could play with us as well. There are lots of lovely dogs at the dog's home. Can we get one? Can we have one, please? Dogs need feeding and walking and they make a mess everywhere. We will walk it and feed it and we'll clean up the mess. Please, can we? Oh, very well then. If you must. Make sure it's a proper dog. One with a pedigree. And remember, you'll both have to take care of it. The children looked at lots of dogs. None of them seemed to be what they wanted. Have you got a dog that nobody wants? They asked the man. All the dogs that we've seen will find homes easily. We do have a dog called Courtney, said the man. Nobody wants Courtney. We don't know anything about him, said the man. We don't know where he came from. Nobody wants him. He's an old dog. We want Courtney, said the children, and they took him home. What on earth have you got here, said the parents. Why didn't you bring a proper dog? He's an old one. He's a mongrel, not a pedigree, like we said. But Corn is lovely, said the children. Well, it's getting late now, and you must be going to bed. Courtney will have to sleep in the kitchen. The next morning, the children raced down to the kitchen to see their new dog. But Courtney was not there. We said that dog was no good. These mongrels, you can't rely on them. Why on earth did you get a, didn't you get a proper dog, like we said? That afternoon, Courtney came back, dragging a large trunk behind him. Once in the house, he opened the trunk, put on a chef's hat and apron, and immediately began to cook a delicious meal. He changed into a waiter's clothes and served the family round the table. Courtney then played the violin while the family finished the meal. Out of his trunk, he took some things to juggle with to entertain the baby. Sometimes, Courtney would meet other dogs in the park, but most of the time he spent with the family. One day, the house caught fire and the family were outside waiting for the fire brigade to arrive. Where's Courtney? said one of the children. Where's my baby? shrieked the mother. Then, they saw, they saw Courtney climbing down the ladder holding the baby. The fire was put out and the house was soon repaired and the family were able to carry on living as usual. One morning they came downstairs and Courtney was not there. The children looked everywhere but they could not find Courtney or his trunk. We told you that dog was no good, said the parents. If they are not thoroughbreds, you cannot rely on them. The children went to the police station. We've lost our dog. He's quite old with big eyebrows. He can play the violin, cook wonderful dinners and he juggles to entertain the baby. Hmm, I'll certainly let you know if an old dog with big eyebrows who can play the violin, cook wonderful dinners and juggle to entertain to keep the baby amused is handed in, said the policeman. That summer, the family went to the seaside for their holidays and they took a boat with them. Every day the children went out in the boats. The boat was always tied to a rock with a long piece of rope so it wouldn't drift out to sea. But on the last day, something awful happened. The rope broke. They lost their oars. The boat drifted out to sea. Somebody help us! cried the mother. 
the boat had drifted almost out of sight. Then, suddenly, there was a tug. The boat was being pulled by something towards the shore. They never did find out who or what was pulling that boat. I wonder what it could have been. The end.